All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to review SPMO, the Invesco S&P 500 Momentum ETF. Let's get into it, what it is exactly, and if we think it's a good hold versus the S&P 500. So you can see here, SPMO is prospectus. Basically, invest only in 100 stocks in the S&P 500 based on a momentum score. So basically, these stocks need to have momentum, they need to be growth stocks, and they have to be making, like, leading the market in gains. We're going to review the composition so you can see, because it is non-diversified, only 100 companies in here. Look at the top 10 holdings right here, 64.67% out of 101 companies. NVIDIA has had a run this year, and it is leading at 12.17% of this fund. Apple has been on a tear as well, 10.11%. Microsoft, 8.32%. Meta, 7.97%. Amazon, 7%. AVGO, Broadcom, Eli, Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan, and Costco. But let's look at the actual holdings so you can really get a good idea. Definitely screenshot this if you want to go through all the companies. But I really only recognize the first 20. And then after that, I don't really know what these other companies are, and their weighted portfolio composition is about less than 1%. But you have companies like Eaton, Booking Holdings, LAM Research. We know, all know who Intel is, Arista, KLA. So the list goes on and on. I'll leave this up just so if you want to screenshot it real quick and just take a look at these companies. I've never heard of them, so I can't really speak on them. So you're pretty much buying a fund that, at least for myself, I really only know 67% involved. So let's go back to the fund profile. As you can see, the top three holdings we know are NVIDIA, Apple, and Microsoft. All of these companies are within the United States 100%. It's all large cap at 94.29%. What I do like about this is that the fund generally invests 90% the whole portfolio within this. So 90% is gonna be following this fund it's not gonna deviate from there, so you know what you're getting with that. Look at the performance, one year up 52%. NVIDIA, over three years, it's up 13.91%. The five year is 17%, but the life of the fund, most importantly, has been averaging about 16%. So it is beating the S&P 500, which is 12% a year, so that's definitely good to know. Let's go into the actual chart real quick. Looking at the chart, this is trading at all time highs. Just look at the max of it. Started at a fund of $25. Whoever got in around 2016, congratulations to you. I mean, you've doubled your money from 25 to 50, all the way from 50 almost to 100. So that's an excellent return from 2016. But it hasn't been around that long. You just have to keep that in mind. Because when you review the composition, you can see that this is US equity, passively managed, large growth. And as you can see here, just for to make it a little clearer, you can see here that out of these 101 companies, these top 10 right here make up 64%. So make sure you really know these companies if you're gonna invest in this fund, because this is basically what you're putting your money into, because it almost makes up 65%. All North America, giant and large capitalization. And just to look at the style map for you, you can see it, tra it trades in this large growth area. So definitely in a bear market, this fund is gonna get hammered because you have technology making up 50% of it, consumer discretionary 11, almost 11%, communications 9%, healthcare 8%. So definitely be wary if you're buying this right now while the QQQ is trading almost at all time highs. Semiconductors make up about 21%, software 15%, technology 10%. So if you're in this, this is a dollar cost average kind of type of play. You can see here in the Invesco S&P 500 Momentum ETF, the dividend yield is 0.74%, so you are getting some return just by holding shares each year, which is nice, and the gross expense ratio is 0.13%, which I would argue that is pretty competitive compared to like an index fund of S&P 500, which would be like 0.02% or one of the Fidelity's free no expense ratios, but you are paying to have those top companies within the index fund and make up more percentage of it. The ratings and analysis, as you can see, five stars rated. It's neutral long term, short term neutral, midterm weak, and then long term it's neutral. So this fund has only been around since 2016. It's only been eight years. 
We don't know if it's going to perform better than the S&P 500 over the long term. But you can look at the growth of hypothetical $10,000 from 2015 all the way up until 2024. $10,000 investment goes all the way up to about $38,000. So that's a great return over 10 years. And just to put just in numbers, you can see the life of the fund at 16.5%. So overall, it is doing excellent, especially on a five-year return, giving you 17% average. And one year was a big year, so 52%. So I recommend waiting for a pullback, waiting for something to happen before you get into a fund like this, because it's already up 52% after one year. I mean, it's like buying at the high right now. Now, I'm not sure when you're watching this video, so you always have to see. You know, maybe the stock price is different, but it's trading at $89 in this video. You can compare this to other similar funds right here. This is the SPMO that we reviewed. That was US equity, passively managed. And this is its competitors, XLSR, which is up 17%. VOOG, which is Vanguard's S&P 500 growth fund, is up 28%. And then SPYG at 29%. And then IVW, which is another S&P 500 fund, up 29%. So it definitely outperforms when the large caps do well, because basically those 10 companies are making up 65% of them. So you definitely have to be you know, aware of that as well. You can't expect 50% gains every single year. If you're interested in videos like this, check out my icon, Trading Simplified, and then look for Fidelity Index Funds and ETFs and then go under my videos, and then you're gonna see I have plenty of videos on all different things, energy ETFs, large growth caps, FSPGX, small cap stock index funds, real estate, semiconductors, the list goes on and on. Check out this playlist, let me know what you think.